It's a reunion of old friends inside this downtown Selmer pharmacy. We was glad to see them because they're all old friends. They're people have known for a long time. Memories shared by those who have grown up here. And people closer we all are together. I mean, uh, it, it, just, it just goes back and uh, of course you do build good memories from that. But Monday is bittersweet. The same people in the community still come here that's have been going, coming here since they were kids. And, uh, and of course, again, it's just this cheer fact that Mr. Bobby Mitchell was here. That made a, whole lot, made a whole lot of difference. Tuesday afternoon, Bobby Mitchell will lock up his pharmacy for the final time, working here since he was a high school freshman, not knowing it would be the same place from where he would retire. Well, of course, the kid didn't think that far ahead. I was working here when I was a freshman in high school, you know, 25 cents an hour, five cents coffee, five cent dip ice cream. Mitchell and his wife Tommy went on dates here, talking in a booth which is still there. We both grew up here. We dated in high school and then uh, went to Memphis. He went to pharmacy and I was in nursing. And uh, after he graduated, then we got married and uh, came home. He later took over and worked with his wife for more than 20 years. Of course, he was the boss. I understood that. Everybody understands that. <laughs> <laughs> but turning 80 this year, Mitchell says it was time to make some decisions, which means this pharmacy, with so many memories inside, will now become a memory itself. This was our family, and it's, it's going to be difficult to close this door tomorrow and lock it. The building will soon be vacant, but the couple says they can now enjoy life with family and friends, and most importantly, one another. In downtown Selmer, Jordan Hall, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News.